Yo, yo, what's up, people? Hope you're having a good day or good night, whatever time it is where you are, man. Hope you're having a good one. So, what do we have here today? Well, we got a BBTS uh, sticker. You get these free when you uh, place an order from them. But today, uh, the starting lineup, back board from hasbro it's been a minute since i've bought anything from hasbro and uh i thought you know what hey how about we get this backboard man i haven't seen anything about this online from anybody haven't seen anyone talking about it um haven't seen any pictures or i mean just nothing i'm not sure you know what's going on but you know i don't really well not don't really i don't buy marvel legends anymore so um you know it's, it's been a while since i've seen or done or anything with a marvel legend but um hey i'll still buy their uh backboards though so let's take this out man i want to show you guys what you'll be um experiencing when you open up yours so here's the backboard itself this video is probably going to be super short because it's only a backboard video but let's just how about we look at it so when you get yours it'll come in your box like this it's fully protected in cardboard i believe they've 100 percent ditched like plastic uh <clears throat> plastic packing materials completely so looks like we're gonna have to get our make our way through this uh maze here of cardboard probably got some stuff right there and we know it comes with a stand for your figures at least one stand for a figure to make a jump shot or whatever but i pretty much got this to do funny pictures like i already have a backboard and i can't recall um who it's from but i figured you know if it's from hasbro yes you know, it's, it's got to be decent at least because they, they got their new like a uh, starting lineup figures coming out pretty soon i'm not sure if they're out or not yet but again i won't be buying those either because i'm pretty much you know done with their figures but their accessories on the other hand hmm, i'm not done with those so let's figure this out together people all right so once i get everything all unpacked from its cardboard coffin though that's to decide we can take a look at this backboard all right cool got the slu logo right there um hard plastic net i can get it in closer you guys can see what that looks like hard plastic backboard this um the lines appear to be uh painted on somehow some way but they kind of like they're kind of raised up from the plastic so that's why i assume they're painted on and look at this this little thing back here is like uh it's like sculpted on there so it appears to be like some sort of like softer material you know how backboards actually look so here I don't, i'm sure what this part is. i think that's part of the stand right there all right so we got that right there we got the bottom of the backboard with the rim so we're probably, we probably can just go ahead and just uh oh nope not that simple let's back it up let's get everything out first not that simple all right next up we have oh look at that we have nothing but the bottom of the net we have a swoosh so we got a we got an all net shot going through right there and all this is sculpted on the basketball does not come out or does it come out it's it's moving like it's moving separately from the net so i'm assuming with some hot air you can probably get that basketball out that's cool because i would love to have a a properly sized basketball for my 112 scale figures okay all right here we go and we have oh look at that so we got the basketball like if you're going to shoot it so you're going to put that on the stand all right so i can show you guys what that looks like here's a close-up of the basketball slu logo see a little texture in there you can feel the texture too hard plastic uh let's see yep nice hard plastic so that's right there that's that so the parts of our basketball hoop are coming together quite nicely and here we have let's open this up too cardboard 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 and what does this look like i will show you so here we got the top of the key so it looks like you can place this thing in several different positions all around the uh or you can place your character in several different positions all around the uh backboard or the uh, court i should say all right so here are your directions all right so step number one you're going to take this long wait where's it at where's it at okay you're going to take this long piece right here and put it into the bottom of what the bottom of the backboard or the bottom of the um the thing here let's see let's do this together all right boom just like that super duper easy we'll put that oh it fell off let's snap it in again so put that here like there just like that just so you guys know that's how it's going to go i mean this is pretty self-explanatory but you know you're going to see all this stuff when you get yours and when you do yours so you're going to take this next piece right here and just like you can see how that kind of snaps in there see how it's kind of keyed like an i-beam 
So you put that in there, and that just snaps on like so. If you want to swap out that rim, I'm assuming you just kind of pull this apart to snap off that rim to put on the replacement rim. All right, we'll leave it like that. So, so far, we, we got this, we got the bottom, all right, and we got the top, all right. Pretty tall, so to give you guys a idea on how tall the rim is compared to a figure, here is our Marvel Legends Spider-Man, okay? I'm gonna zoom out. So your Marvel Legends Spider-Man, any Marvel Legends figure is gonna look like that compared to the rim, which is like pretty, pretty accurate, like to real life, depending on how tall you are, you know what I mean? I'm like 5'9", 5'10", so you know, this is like pretty, pretty accurate stuff right there, all right? Step number two is uh, we're gonna put the uh, like the soft like padding. This is gonna be like your your so-called padding. You know how you dunk and you run into this. I'll be cramming myself, so you run into that. So you're gonna put your padding on, and it looks like they say it's supposed to go like this. Oh, okay, cool. There, that just snaps on like that. Okay, looks like that from the bottom, from the side, and from the front. Looks like that. Okay, and we'll put everything sideways so that you guys can still see how your figure is gonna look underneath that rim as he's cramming and jamming, dunking and you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff like that. I skipped step two. What was step two? Oh, uh, step two was just to snap it in place. Step three was to put it on. Step four is just to snap it in place. Step five is to put the cushion thing on. Step six is to put the actual rim on. So the this this black part right here in the um, the backboard and the rim are actually three separate pieces. So that's cool. This is a stand, and you can use this to put it anywhere on the court. I guess you could say, right? looks like that and the um, accessory to hold your character looks like this so you're gonna put that right there all right and that's actually like it's kind of a what's the word kind of like ratcheted like there's different settings that you can you see those little holes right there so there's different settings you could use to hold your character at different heights whether you're dunking shooting a three shooting a two whatever the case may be and this also rotates too see how that's kind of ratcheted so that's cool all right all right pretty good stuff so then you i guess you will put your character you'll put your character right there and then you have this little um shooting accessory that kind of snaps onto the wrist of your basketball characters right so now the next question is can it snap onto the wrist of anybody else like spider-man for example right because i don't see why spider-man wouldn't be like you know shooting up you know what i mean so let's see um wow that that entrance is really small but this appears to be flexible plastic though. So you're probably, okay, so I can probably pull this off. Let's go off camera, of course. I could probably pull the, oh, nice, nice, nice. I got it, I got it. So I can put this like on the bottom. And of course I probably get my wall crawling hand um, because you can't shoot with a fist. I probably get my wall crawling hand, put it on there to, and it, to be able to shoot that. And then I can attach my Spider-Man to the um, holder right there, to the stand, and have a nice little shot, right? So it looks something like, you know, swish, something like that. All right, cool. So, I mean, I think this was like $24, $30, somewhere in that area. But yeah, man, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is not going to be a long one. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what the basketball hoop for the new um, figures, for the new basketball figures will look like. But you don't have to get it just for those basketball figures, man. This could be for whatever. Like, I plan on doing some some really, really funny shots with this stuff, man. I can have my Storm Collectibles figures dunking on each other, Marvel Legends, Spider-Man's figure dunking on each other. Uh, let's see. This is like a hard plastic another hard plastic all this stuff is really flexible you know what i mean so and you can put this all around so yeah i mean overall i mean i'm i'm satisfied i mean what, what do you expect from a hoop you know what i mean but this right here i love this one though that's this is pretty dope and i do want to see if i can like get this out because <laughs> i do want a a 112 scale like basketball like that's accurate so i'm gonna i'm gonna get that out somehow some way i figure hair dryer hot water trick pop that bad boy out and i'm good to go so that is it um for this one people so do me a favor hit that like subscribe button you know what all those youtubers be saying out there man i appreciate all the positive feedback i appreciate all of the uh comments y'all be giving me you know what i'm saying the constructive criticism all that stuff bros keep it coming have a good one people see you